If you've been around NASCAR or any social or political circles probably in the last six months, I guarantee you've heard the phrase, let's go Brandon. Well, a couple weeks ago or a few days ago, depending on when this is watched, there was a sponsor for Brandon Brown, the driver from the Let's Go Brandon controversy called LGB Coin or Let's Go Brandon Coin, a cryptocurrency, a meme coin that really was supposed to kind of capitalize off of this whole deal. And it was announced that LGB Coin was going to be sponsoring Brandon Brown for the entirety of the 2022 NASCAR season. But then some from NASCAR said that it wasn't approved. Some said it was approved. And there's been a big back and forth. Well, last night, Bob Pachris tweeted out NASCAR's verdict on all this. That NASCAR has made the final decision that LGB coin sponsorship for Brandon Brown is not approved sponsorship to be on the car. And of course, this brought a lot of people down onto NASCAR. NASCAR did not handle this well whatsoever. Some claiming that it was a sponsor that was approved by the sport, others in NASCAR saying it wasn't, then they were blaming back and forth, it was completely sloppy and awful. But as Jeff Gluck tweeted, NASCAR told Brandon Bilt, which is Brandon Brown's team, in November, it wouldn't approve any Let's Go Brandon sponsorship. The team submitted a request over Christmas without specifying it was a political thing, just listed as crypto. NASCAR initially missed that part, but was never going to be approved. Well, that's all good and all, but then James Katulis, I think is how you say his name, said that Brandon Brown went through the proper NASCAR approval process and received formal written approval. If NASCAR revokes approval, we will bring suit upon them. On behalf of all LGB coin holders, who were damaged by the reliance on NASCAR's written approval and hashtag cancel NASCAR. And in this, he includes NASCAR's only discrepancy initially with the sponsorship being that the number was meshing a little bit too much with the colors on the car and it needed to be differentiated. Nothing whatsoever saying the sponsor shouldn't be allowed. Now listen, I don't give crap whatsoever if it's allowed or if it isn't. NASCAR's allowed political sponsorship before, and they would initially in this instance. But you see, because of the harsh political climate that we're in right now, the divisiveness, this made the rounds. It went everywhere. I mean, at one point, thanks to Kamikaze Games, it even reached TimCast IRL, a popular political show hosted by Tim Poole that regularly gets hundreds of thousands of listeners a week and in it this was said all right Mumbling kamikaze says acting. thanks for the great show tim cast and poso nascar just removed a let's go brandon sponsorship for this year you guys should contact brandon brown and support his team in these trying times overall nascar handled this absolutely horribly and it was almost too horribly you know, I have to think that NASCAR almost was trying to milk this whole situation just to get the clicks online, because even if it's divisive, people are still looking. And this Let's Go Brandon meme has went all over the world. I can't think that NASCAR would be that inept to cover it the way that they have. I have to think that someone was like, hey, let's get a week or two of press out of this. But I got to say, if that's the case, that's really stupid, short-sighted thinking. You see, in November before the Phoenix weekend, NASCAR President Steve Phelps had pushed the notion that NASCAR wanted to distance itself from the Let's Go Brandon meme, political movement, whatever the hell you want to call it. If you remember, that's where the incident where Matt Benedetto was nearly kicked out of the track for the weekend for saying the phrase. Go Brandon. And in general, NASCAR was already looking to get away from sponsors that had any political affiliations really whatsoever and basically banning all political sponsors. After the last year, year and a half that they had, it was probably the least that they could do. And it's something that was really a product of an era that we're just not in anymore. You see, there was a long time where NASCAR would have political sponsorships, whether it was people running for office or campaigns or whatnot, 
There has always been some kind of political sponsorships in NASCAR. And I have to ask kind of what NASCAR's overall thinking is with this because they never really specified what political sponsorship. You see, they might be opening Pandora's box here because what constitutes political sponsorship? Now, that might seem like a dumb question, but listen, despite what you might see from the media or in politics or whatever, life is not a black and white issue. There is not good and evil all the time. There is always gray area. And yes, something like Trump 2020 or Biden 2024 is not going to be allowed more than likely. That's political sponsorship. That's a political campaign right there. That's the easy stuff. Let's go, Brandon. Pretty easy as well. It's been co-opted into a political term. But what about some of the other ones in the middle? Ones that are divisive to different groups. For instance, Black Lives Matter for one group of people in America is about human rights. For another group in America, it's about politics. Again, with the NRA. One group of people in this country sees the NRA being about human rights, the inalienable right to defense, while another sees it as a political issue. And then what about sponsorships that could be political with their activism outside of the brand themselves? For instance, Chick-fil-A has been a relatively conservative brand overall and has drawn a lot of criticism from different left-wing groups. On the other end, Ben & Jerry's Ice Cream has been one of the most left-wing groups and overtly left-wing groups we've seen in the country when it comes to a brand. So it would bring a lot of problems and ire from the right. There's a lot of nuance, and the thing is, NASCAR has now put itself in the position that it's going to have to make ball and strike calls here. And many of you may be saying, yeah, of course, that's how it would go. But I want you to think about this for a second. Just take a little bit of a critical thought on this. If NASCAR has to make a ball and strike call on what constitutes being political and not political, what's acceptable and not acceptable on the levels of controversy, doesn't that mean that NASCAR is both advertently and inadvertently making a political statement? I'm not saying that I support or go against any of these groups. I really don't care what you think about it. What I'm saying is, is that NASCAR is backing itself up into a corner. Now, if it just says, hey, no political campaign sponsorships, then there you go right there. Or no sponsorships that have only political meanings, then I can see there being the gray area that NASCAR can allow others in. But while NASCAR is trying to solve this problem, and it is a problem because of the way that politics is so divisive and sports is an escape, I feel like NASCAR has only created more potential controversies in the future. And personally, I'd like to go back to how it was a couple years ago, pre Brian France endorsing Donald Trump, where NASCAR really wasn't in the political foray that much. Brandon Brown right now is, in my opinion, kind of the scapegoat as well as the martyr on this one. Brandon for everything that he and his team have given was completely screwed out of a great moment. Now, because of that, Brandon has not been able to find sponsorship because many brands don't want to be associated with what Let's Go Brandon entails now. So when Brandon can't find any sponsorship, so he has to take whatever comes. And trust me, this LGB coin was probably not highest on his list of priorities of sponsors he would want. It was what was left more than likely. He tries to jump on it. And NASCAR says no. Now, I don't care what your thoughts are back and forth on it. It's Brandon's name. Brandon's name has been slung around now for the good part of five months or so. And he is not even allowed to profit off of that. It sucks. I want you to remember, no matter what side you sit on this, Brandon Brown is the victim here. He's the victim of political crossfire that's infested our culture. And more importantly, for many of us, it's infested this sport. I wish I could have a more positive take on this, but this whole situation as a NASCAR fan who just wants to get away from everything just sucks. Now, with me saying all that, maybe you have a better point of view on it than I do. So let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on Brandon Brown's sponsorship conundrum. While you're at it, leave a like in this video, share this video, and subscribe to my channel for more great NASCAR content. And thank you to all my channel members for all of your support. 
So until next time, have a good one.